Hello Jim here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking into making a zombie and skeleton XP farm. Now you can use the experience or the loot. Uh, I prefer skeleton loot because it is bones, you can use bone meal. But zombies are good for experience as well. So we're going to get right into that. I'm using the 1.12.2 version of Minecraft. So if you're using a version older than that, I will be making a different video for that type of xp farm because there are is a better methods of doing it in 1.13 and higher so let's get right into this and go find a spawner so after you found a zombie spawner or a skeleton spawner both of these methods will work for this we're gonna have to start uh cutting the whole room making the room so first things first you're gonna want to uh dig four away from it so as you can see the room is a two by two so we're gonna make it a four by four and it's pretty simple just break two by two like that and make sure it's also up here so let's do that and make sure to keep on putting torches down because if the zombies would spawn uh even with all these torches they can still spawn in the area they do have a quite a big radius that the spawners can actually spawn the zombies so it doesn't necessarily mean you're safe if it's all over like that so i i recommend putting them down as you are digging that way you have the safest most possible building time instead of having to like getting scared uh and you know getting jumped by zombies so let's do that real quick and we'll see what the next step is okay so after the room is like this as you can see i did a four by four room uh, all around just double check it's four by four okay and what you're gonna want to do is also Make sure to put torches in any dark areas because that will increase the chances of zombies spawning in here. Uh, that way you can get the most possible amounts of zombies or skeletons to actually uh, harvest. So now next step besides that and the torches of course you're going to want to dig down three. But first make sure to actually cover your wall with the mater any material. You, you can use cobblestone because I'm pretty sure you guys... Uh, just got a good amount of cobblestone if you guys are doing this in uh, survival mode so just cover up the walls also the ceiling make sure you cover up the ceiling and keep that 4x4 four four radius that way we have the most maximum amount of uh, spawns just for you and for your farm alright so there it is make sure again put torches down nothing will spawn and you're safe all right so we're gonna start digging down by three right here so that's two and you're gonna do three on the entire floor don't go more than that and then we're I'm gonna show you how it looks after that so after your room looks like this it is finally time to start choosing a direction of where you want your actually harvest room to be so I'm gonna choose this way because the cave is this way and uh, there's a cable under that so I don't want to deal with that so choose the middle of the room and the direction so after you've chosen the way you actually want to uh zombies to head you know you dig that way so after you found the middle of the room dig your gutter right over here so you're gonna dig a gutter here and again go to the center of the room and dig another hole right here and then just dig three of these out so we're gonna go away let's do one two three four and five let's do five away right there actually no let's do four um, and then we're gonna do that so now what you're gonna want to do is let me get some more torches and actually I'm gonna get night vision because it is gonna get quite dark in here uh, for us in general so let's get the materials we need so we're gonna need some signs we're gonna need a lot of signs for this method right here and then we're gonna need water uh, make sure to have at least two or three water and make make an, an extra room here and just have like a an infinite water source going on because you are going to be needing a lot of water and i do mean a lot especially for what we're about to do here so next next thing is next after you've done that you know uh place a sign right there for later not not right now but here we are we're about to embark on a new adventure so we're gonna want to again four away from this you can do five three you know um it 
doesn't matter as long as you follow this next step to heart. So there's two methods you can do. If you just want the zombie to die right away or the method where you want the experience and I'm doing the experience so uh, I will explain both it's, it's a slight change nothing too big so if you want to harvest the experience go up by 22 so we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen whoa okay so this is nineteen 20, 21, and 22. So there's your 22 right there. Okay, so make sure to do 22. Right, and then we're going to move on this way. And we're going to drop them off right here. So, right here, yeah. So we're going to go back down. And I'm going to show you something. So after they've done 22. And the reason I want to do 22 is because that way they take a good amount of damage. And that way, you just have to hit them like once or twice with the sword and they'll... They'll pretty much be dead. So you save the amount, uh, as much durability on your sword, diamond sword or iron sword, whichever, uh, as much. And just go down. Uh, in this occasion, you can dig down unless you don't. I mean, unless you're not sure if there's anything down there that can actually do anything. So I'm gonna put glass here uh, for now. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this. There we go. I'm gonna put. Let me see. So this is where the zombies are going to come down and take damage right here in this area. Uh, so in that block right there, they're going to take damage right there. Now for those that want to kill the zombies and you know don't, they don't have to actually attack it. Instead of 22, you're going to go 24. So you're just going to put two more blocks up. Now here's what we're going to do. Now is I guess you could say the easy part or the hard part. It, well it's not hard but it's very tedious. So what you're going to want to do is place a fence right here actually no not right there I'm gonna place it one right there and one right there okay there you go and you're gonna put a water source right there and you're gonna rinse and repeat fence water fence water until you get to the top I'll get to you guys once I'm there so here we are at the top now 22 so as you can see if I bring it up by one they are gonna die so after that just destroy this one because you don't want to go over the 22 mark because then you will just be making the regular farm so after you've done that uh, don't do that <laughs> make sure that there is a fence not right there a fence right here okay so you're gonna put a fence right there and then as you can see I'm just gonna do that and this will actually make them go over here and they're gonna fall down to a good amount of damage now of course I'm just gonna cover this up make sure it's at least a three high um, three high just because you don't want them bumping their heads and slowing them down so three high right there I'm gonna go in because this is the only way for me to go back in if I can go in at all there you go uh, so make sure it's three by three right there well not three by three but just three high and you should be fine okay there we go and that's yeah okay so we're gonna go back down and after you've done that part it's pretty much simple after that so after that it's easy 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 just put water there and basically what they're gonna do is just gonna go up like that but first things first this is the true the, the time where you see if you've succeeded in doing the room correctly so you're gonna put water all across the back here and it should do that if it goes over and if you've missed one square don't worry you can make a hole in the back and do the exact same thing it won't matter uh, but as long as it's like this it doesn't touch the gutter at all and we're gonna put water there and water there as well that way the zombies have a way of uh, moving forwards to this down here and into this and they're gonna be jumping and trying to get up and they're gonna go up the elevator so that is the method of using this so now next thing is next I'm gonna be making the room so as you can see this is where they're gonna fall as you can see this is where they're gonna fall so no 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 okay so this is where they're gonna fall you're gonna want to make a room for them of course so let's go like that let's just make a quick room nothing fancy that way I can show you guys how it works and how it's gonna work since it is right here um, I'm actually gonna put one of these down right here they're gonna take less damage but again you we're doing the experience farm if you want to have them killed go to 24 
or higher if you'd like. Uh, but if anything, just do the regular. Oh hey, just do the regular 22, or don't go over 22 at all. Uh, that way you can actually harvest the experience. Let me close that off. I don't want any bats in here. So we're gonna put some torches down. Okay. There we go. And there's a room. Now, of course, zombies are going to be able to get out of there. So, we're going to have to do this right there. Okay? Done. So, that is how you make your farm. But, before we do that, there is one problem with the zo zombies. Now, skeletons, you don't need to do this step. But, this is for more for the baby zombies than anything else. So, baby zombies, they cannot jump up here. So, get a magma block, put it right in front of this right here. And then... Let me put a glass right here. That way we can see if there are any, any, any zombies that spawn here. And then what you want to do, do is let him die right there. They're going to take that damage. You can collect it here. Uh, there's other methods you can do it. Um, you guys could figure that part out. But usually what I do is just like have him fall down a little bit. And then in the second bottom floor below me, I do that right there. Or I do something similar to this and I just split myself. But since they're not able to go up, this is the one method you can do to have them killed. Uh, that way they won't stop the flow of traffic. Now, let's test it out. So, we're, we're going to go in here. Let's go in here. Oh, no, no, no. Let me go in here. There we go. So, there we go. So, after you've done all of these steps, all you're going to want to do is start taking the torches down. Okay, now if you're doing this in survival mode, I recommend doing the ones in the back first. And ooh, you know what? I forgot one simple thing. Make sure to get a get a slab, and then put it on top of the spawner. That way, things don't spawn on top of it, and zombies don't just stay in here. Because uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure occasionally they're gonna fall down, but they're they you don't want them to be up there, so. There we go, they started spawning in. And now I'm gonna. No, 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 that's mine. <laughs> now you're gonna wanna enclose this area off right here. And as you can see, they're, they're, they're trying to go up already. There you go. If they can go up. There you go. Okay, so now I just close this area off right here. And there we go, the zombie. Farm is working. As you can see, the zomb baby zombie right there is dying because of the... Oh, you know what? Yeah. So what we're going to do is also put a fence there. But as you can see, it is dying right there. And the zombies are coming in, which is a good sign that the farm is working, which is a good thing. So let me get a sword real quick because I need to kill that baby zombie. Let's kill that baby zombie real quick. Okay. So let's put a fence right there. Right? Put a fence right there, and we should be fine, because uh, that way the zombie's not jumping up and actually surviving. So as you can see, pretty easy. You know, you got your zombies right there. All you gotta do is slash them like once or twice, uh, and then this is pretty good experience farm right there, which is good. It's nice and safe. They're gonna keep on coming, which is a good thing. And again, this is a 1.12.2 uh, XP farm. It, I don't think it can work in 1.13 or higher, but I, if you would like me to do a video for that 1.13 or higher, just let me know in the comments. But yeah, this is the end of this tutorial. Uh, hopefully this is uh, useful for you guys. Uh, I know it's going to be useful for many out there. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to check out my modded survival i did make a zombie farm there as well and i do have a spider farm there as well so if, again if you guys want to see more of that let me know down in the comments below and let me know what kind of videos you would like to see so thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys in the next video